All right, welcome to lesson 7.3.1. In this one, we are going to be given a slope and a point on a line, and we have to find the equation of the line from that. So before I get into this problem, let me just kind of walk you through exactly what that looks like. And I think for most of you, you're going to notice you've basically already done this on one of the Khan, Khan Academy concepts we do. If I'm given a slope of 4 ninths, and I'm given the point, one of my points on the line might be 2780. Then, how do we solve? Well, if I'm given the slope, you know that you plug that into your y equals mx plus b, so here's your m. Well, over here is your x and your y, so we just need to solve for b. So, to walk you through that again, well, how you do that, here's our y equals mx plus b. The y, in this case, equals the 80. The slope is the 4 ninths right here, and the x is 27. And now we just solve for b. 27 divided by 9 would be 3, and then 3 times 4 would be 12. Or there's other ways to get to that 12. And then we have to subtract 12 from both sides, and so 68 would be our b. So when we're all done with that, our new equation, or our equation on the line then, is y equals the slope of 4 ninths times x, plus the intercept of 68. That's how you can take a point and your slope and find your equation of the line. If you need to reread that or rewatch that little portion, go ahead. But otherwise, we're going to move on. Question 79. Down on the farm. Colleen recently purchased a farm that raised chickens. Since she has never raised chickens before, Colleen wants to learn as much about the baby chicks as possible. In particular, she wants to know how much a baby chick weighs when it's hatched. See, she bought a bunch of chickens and they've already hatched. So to find this out, Colleen decides to track the weight of one of the chickens that was born just before she purchased the farm. And when they mean just before, they don't mean like the day before. Actually, you're going to find out here in a moment. She found that her new chick grew steadily at about 5.2 grams each day. So each day it was born it weighed 5.2 grams more than the day before. She assumes that it's been doing this since the day it was hatched. By the way, nine days after it hatched, the chick weighed 98.4 grams. So there's your point on, the, on a graph right there. Nine days and 98.4 grams. So nine days over, 98.4. And we know the growth rate. We know the slope because it was growing at 5.2 grams per day. You can probably guess what we're going to be asking next. Okay. Knowing that information, we want to know the following. What is the baby chick's growth rate? Well, that should be pretty easy. Put that down for me if you would. By the way, it's the same as the slope. How much is it growing each day? Before graphing... Describe the line that represents the growth of the chicken. What I mean by that is, do you know any of the points on the line? Write down the point on the line that you know, which I already told you before. Does that line point up or down? And how steep is it? Steep means, um, does it have a growth rate of 1? Does it have a growth rate of 2? Is it a growth rate of 3 over 2? Or we could call that 1.5. What? How steep is it? Now, Draw a graph for the situation. So graph this out. Label the horizontal axis to represent the number of days. So the x-axis would be the number of days. The y-axis would be how heavy the chick is. Um, oh, give the title to it, the growth of the baby chick. So make sure you title your graph. Then, what is the y-intercept of your graph? So you need to solve for that. Actually, if you graph it, you can kind of see where the graph goes. And then in a moment here, we're going to have you solve that algebraically the way I taught you just a little bit ago to confirm that. By the way, also, how many days will it take until the baby weighs 140 grams? So you're going to need to track that out. All right. Use your table. Now that you've created a graph, by the way, if you're still creating the graph, pause it for a moment until you are done. But now that you are done, um, 
Oh, make a table. No, you know what? I'm going to say let's not do the table. We're not going to do number 81 here. Forget the table. So we're going to move on to question number 82. Finding the equation without a table of graphs. And this is exactly what I went through when I went through this originally. So without graphing, find the B. Find out where the B was algebraically. You know the slope, the 5.2. You know the point, the 9 days and the however many ounces that chick weighed. Plug those numbers in and solve for where what B was and what the starting value was. You already know the chick's growth rate. Place the slope into the equation of line. Blah, 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 blah. I already told you how to do that. Basically, I've told you all this stuff. Um, yeah, so you're just going to solve for that. So make sure you find the equation algebraically. And then finally, use your equation to determine when the chick will weigh 140 grams. This, by the way, would be your y value. So now that you have your equation of the line, which is y equals your 5.2x plus whatever you got for your b, now plug 140 grams in for your y value and solve for x. Figure out how many days it's going to be. Hopefully that makes good sense to you. Um, bring that to class tomorrow. That is your assignment for tonight. And... Oh, there's 83 and 84, but I don't think I'm covering those. Hmm. You know what? Yeah, do letter A here. The slope is negative 3, passes through that point there. Solve that one algebraically as well. Pause the video if you need to, otherwise I'm moving on to the next slide here. I think that's all I'm going to give you. Yeah, we're not going to do that one. And then we're on to that one. So, yes. So solve question number 83 right there as well. We'll see you in class tomorrow. Bye-bye.